Uh, my name is Leah Purcell and I play the older Gabriel. And my name is Naomi Bentley and I play the younger Gabriel. And a fish fell out of the sky and landed at my feet. And it still smelt of the sea. When we first meet Gabriel, she is bored with her life, with her existence, with this place, with the smell, with the look, with the weather. She is completely dying. I do not believe in God. I do not believe in miracles. Yeah, I, I cannot explain this. It began with a phone call. When the boy Gabriel played by Tom comes into her life and he is everything that she's never known, um, it's like a whirlwind, I suppose, and it completely pulls the rug from under her feet. Hello? Is this Gabriel York? It's Andrew here, your son. I hope you don't mind me calling you like this. My character is in 2013 and I'm, we're living in Adelaide and I ha I'm in the early stages of dementia and I haven't um, heard from my son in seven years and I'm now and, and at the stage of, of, of having, having coming from this life of what Naomi um, described before she's at the end of her tether she's, she's had enough and knowing that she has to face dementia she doesn't want to want to go there. And what will he think of my room? It isn't much. It isn't anything at all. A one room bed sit on the 12th floor. Not the kind of place a father should live. Surely. It needs a paint and the carpets are worn. And it's dirty. To be perfectly honest, it's filthy. My job as playing the younger Gabriel is to inform the audience as to how she ends up the way you play her. Yes. And so the way I approach, I think the way we both approach them were as separate characters in a way and then we put mannerisms in that we both share. And actually, Mike had a closed rehearsal process so we didn't see any of the things that we were doing just so that we could really go with our instinct. And I began to feel angry. Why did he call? Why is he doing this? What does he want from me? Money, is that it? Does he think I'm worth something? Does he think I owe him something? I, I think, I, I call it a mature drama, but in saying that we've had a few young people, and I'm talking teenagers of 13 in the audience, and they've loved it. But I think it's a very mature piece of, of writing. It's, it's um, wonderful actors in it. Um, it goes to a dark place, so if you're looking for a nice cry, bring the tissue. Um, it's perfect for it, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but at the end of the day, I think it's, it's, it's great writing, great performances, and you do get carried along with, 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 with piecing it together. It's great when you hear the audience gasp. Yeah, they and get things. something said and something clicks and you hear them go, <gasps> and it's just, that's really rewarding yeah. because it means that they care. And, and the, I think what's been lovely about this is, is how much we've all cared for it. And it's been important that we are a complete ensemble and it is a script that, that needs that attitude. It was raining, pouring, has been for days, still is. The river is swollen and threatening to break its banks. Two of the bridges have already been closed and I didn't know whether I'd make it to the shops or even what I'd buy when I got there and it was too much. I just couldn't manage it. I couldn't look after him then and I still can. I just can. I opened my mouth 